If transformational change means no Christmas tree at Morgan Academy, then it's not going to be popular. And there was a chance that might have happened this year, because the City Council is changing the way it pays for Christmas celebrations. The good news is, there will be a tree at Morgan Academy, three Christmas light nights, a North Pole post office and music from local schools. The Stobswell Forum is behind the plans and Colin Clement is a leading member. So the council decided to change the way they offer up uh, the Christmas facilities across the city and the challenge for Stobbs Well was to go out and talk to as many locals as we could, uh, which we did. We uh, had an online consultation and it was very clear from the outset that the local people wanted the traditional Christmas tree at the Morgan Academy. So that was the first challenge, we had to go off and organise a Christmas tree. So why is the council shaking up Christmas? Lynn Short is one of the local councillors. I, I think, to be honest, uh, that old, well, it's the way we've always done it, was very much the, uh, the impression that we had uh, with regards to Christmas. Um, and it was to take the emphasis um, away from delivering for people and allowing people to deliver what was appropriate for their part of the city. So it, it was about community empowerment. So the F Santa F Post Office is, uh, is really exciting. We've uh, worked in conjunction with Hillcrest Housing Association and they've been good enough to give us one of their uh, empty shops uh, at 170 Albert Street uh, and we're going to turn it into the North Pole Post Office. So if anybody wants to drop off a letter for Santa Claus this year, just come to 170 Albert Street. The North Pole Post Office will be accepting donations of hats and scarves, food, PE kit for kids, selection boxes and toiletries for pick-up by people who can't afford Christmas. Hot drinks and cake will be on offer for anyone who wants to drop by. Ian Tate runs a business locally. What does he think of the Forum's plans? I think it's an excellent idea. Um, and it'll be good for the area. Really good. And it may bring people you know, to the businesses here too. But seeing people out, kids enjoying themselves, having a cup of coffee, you know, uh, some cocoa, hot chocolate, a cake, what have you. Just get back to some kind of normality. Councillor Short is impressed by the Forum's professional approach. I'm always excited about what the Sawzall Forum are planning and um, they're working with a professional events creator uh, and I'm really pleased that they made that relationship because I think they're going to deliver something even more than what they would have had because normally standard would have been a beautiful Christmas tree um, at the Morgan that everybody would see if they were on the 17 or the 32 or any of the, the traffic going up Albert Street but now there'll be something on the ground for the local people and there'll be an opportunity for people to go and explore uh, the area that uh, Stobswell is and maybe find a few hidden gems that they didn't know were there. Colin Clement is keen to recognise help and support from other partners. Well, this is a community effort, but we kind of do it on our own. Uh, we've had great support from Dundee Partnership, uh, from the Morgan Academy and from Councillor Lynn Short. But the reality is this is the community that's going to deliver the Christmas celebration in Stobswell this year. If you want to get involved, Check out the Stobswell Forum Facebook page, drop us a line. Uh, we need volunteers, we need ideas, and if you've got any questions, just pop them in there and we'll come back to you as quick as we can. Big gatherings are not allowed this year because of COVID, so the light nights and musical performances will be streamed live on social media. What would Ian Tate like for Christmas? Well, I think what everyone would like uh, for this thing to go away, this pandemic, that's what my Christmas wish is.